Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint where we grow cool plants. And today we're going to be talking about um, fig trees and how to get them to actually ripen faster. We're now um, approaching the end of August and in a large part of the United States the temperature is going to start cooling um, in September. And the goal is to get those last few figs before the temperature drops because as soon as it starts cooling, typically those fruit will not ripen and the rest will fall off the tree. But the goal is to see if we can get a few more fruit off of our tree and see if we can expedite the process with a technique um, known as just oiling the eye of the fig. And the preferred oil of choice is using olive oil. And I've got here with me um, a bottle of olive oil. And if you don't have olive oil, they said any other vegetable oil would work well as well. And here I've got some corn oil. Um, but being that olive oil is preferred and I have olive oil in our kitchen, what we're gonna do is to simply um, put just a couple of drops worth here in the lid. And I'm just going to take my Q-tip now, which I've got here. And if you wanna come and see what I'm gonna do here, what I'm gonna do, just so I can actually have some test figs, you'll notice that I've got one fig here, two, three, four, and five. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, basically oil this one over here and just put a little oil here on the tip, like so, add a little bit more, just to make sure that drops there. So we're gonna do this one, and then I'll do this one over here. And I'm gonna leave that one alone, as well as this one over here. These will be my tests to see if there's any difference. And then I'm gonna go all the way to the top here. And usually the higher you go on the plant, those are usually the latest to ripen. So I'm gonna see if I can expedite the process by doing that as well to this fig and see if it skips these other two figs when it comes to ripening as this one is not coated with oil and this one over here is not coated with oil as well. So the logic behind this method is by actually oiling the eye of the fig, by putting the oil there, what's gonna happen is it's gonna trap the ethylene gas, which is the natural gas the plant actually makes that ripens fruit. It's gonna trap that gas inside of the fig and force it to actually ripen a little bit faster than later. So hopefully this method is gonna work. We're gonna come and visit it over the next few days or the next few weeks, and I'll keep you posted. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned as we're gonna do a continuation. So here we are. It's been exactly 14 days since we've actually oiled the eye of the fig. And if you come and take a look, you can actually see that this here was one of the figs that we oiled. You can actually see the marks of the, we used olive oil around it. Um, it basically, this is here is the line. You can see that this one is pretty much, I mean, it's grown, but the one behind it has actually changed color and this one was not oiled. So you can actually see the difference here. Here's the other one that was oiled. And this one back here was not oiled. And if we go up a little further, this one here was oiled. And you can actually still see the oil on the tip right here. I'll actually put my Q-tip. You can actually see it's a little darker here on the tip. I'll pull that leaf out of the way so you can see it. And then since we've recorded, we've now got this additional fig that's also um, came out as well. But this one here is brand new and has not been oiled. Um, so the conclusion of this was Again, we've oiled this one, we've oiled this one. The one that was not oiled is already starting to change color and it's been now 14 days. So I've only ran this first experiment, but I've heard that this process could work in ripening your figs sooner. Um, one of my YouTube friends, Adet, tried this on her figs just a couple of weeks ago and she's already saying it's working very well for her. So I'm hoping um, you can take this to the test and it being the first week of September, Hopefully you've got a few more weeks left in your garden with some figs and you can test it with the um, vegetable oil test and hopefully get um, results that are favorable for you. And if so, be sure to write those in the comments below. Just to additional um, share, and I was just looking at my fig this morning and I noticed um, something else I wanna share with you. I'm gonna be pruning this fig tree um, come late winter, early spring and make additional cuttings out of this tree. And I want to share with you that when I actually do take the cuttings, take a look at each node over here. And I was just identifying that wherever there's these dots that are around the nodes, 
These will actually each individually become roots when they're actually put in the ground. And we've also done a cutting video, which I'll show down below. Um, but once we cut it, we're also gonna be sure to coat it with the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint. I'm gonna show you real quick another fig tree we've got here in the corner of the garden that we actually did a video called OMG, Why Cut the Giving Fig Tree? And I wanna show you what this actually looks like about six weeks um, since we've actually done so. Come and follow me, let me show you. So here we are again. First week of September, we've got all of this new growth. It only works if your growing season is such as we are here in Southern California, where our chance of frost is all the way into late December and ends by early January. So we've got a lot longer of a growing season, and that's the reason that I made these prunes. Um, another thing I wanna share with you is that when it's, once you actually cut your fig tree, and I've done now a few fig tree videos to show that the pith of the fig tree, the center part of the fig tree is actually quite soft, for the first few years um, of the wood. And this wood here, as large as it is, is only about a year and less than two years old. So you can see how big this tree's um, grown in such a short period of time under good conditions. If you come and zoom in a little closer, I wanna show you the pith over here. You can actually see this black dot in the middle. And we've coated the top with ivory organics, but the center part is still collapsing um, you know, in, and this would be an entryway for wood boring insects. And I've actually seen tunnels that have colonized within the heart of the wood. So while we're actually here, I'm actually gonna put this product, which is the Ivory Organic 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint. And it's a natural tree trunk and branch barrier protection against damaging sunburn and insects and rodents for uses on your roses, fruit and nut trees, ornamental trees and shrubs. And it's a non-toxic, environmentally safe and organic product. This here would be in color white, but it's also available in brown as well as green. And we're just gonna take this paint that I pre-mixed before the video, and we're just gonna fill in that hole like so. Basically sealing um, any entryway for any wood boring insects, as well as viruses and bacteria and mold from getting into the heart of the tree. So hopefully you've also noticed um, this beautiful pink vinca plant that I've got growing here at the base of the plant. Not only does it offer um, color, but we've been using it for what we call the wimpy plant test, being an indicator of when it's time to water your potted plant without the use of dirtying your knuckles or using a watering meter for you know for identifying the right time for a plant for watering your plants. So um, with the vinca being here, it's one option, but it's not the preferred option. We actually um, determined among a variety of plants that strawberries were a good indicator for water stress. The vinca I've noticed actually still looks and performs well even when the fig is starving for water and the and the leaves are starting to wilt, and that's the reason we lost a lot of leaves here was when this pot went um, too many days under hot conditions without water. Um, and again, I didn't have the vinca helping me to determine when was the right time to water. I've been just watering it regularly based on when I know would be best. Anyways, I hope you found this video informative and I'm looking forward to getting your comments below and seeing if the eye of the fig oil test works for you. Um, and if not, just let us know. Um, it was something I heard that works and I'd love to see if the results work for you as well. If you found this video informative, please be sure to like it. Most importantly, subscribe down below. By subscribing below, you'll be connected to all the other Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard educational paint videos. Thanks again for watching and happy gardening.